I'm going to show you one of the best single indicators of a winning stock. I've been building stock analysis tools for seven years. My background is data analytics, not for day trading or short term trades. I'm not bothered about that stuff. My aim is to find great businesses trading at a fair valuation for long term investment. And people underestimate how important that finding a great business part is. But for home investors, honestly, that's like 90% of the game. If you invest in companies that grow their earnings, their profits, then you will almost certainly be a successful investor over the long term, assuming you didn't invest at some massively overvalued price. So how do you know if a company is going to grow their earnings? Well, here's a really good indicator, and it's what this video is all about. To show you its simple power, I've used data from the USA's top 500 largest companies from 2002 to 2025. I took the top 500 companies on the 2nd of January of each year, calculated their five-year sales growth for the previous five years, and then their five-year earnings growth for the following five years. So if we took 2010 as an example, I had the top 500 stocks in 2010, along with their past five-year sales growth from 2005 to 2010, and their following five-year earnings growth from 2010 to 2015. I applied that same principle to every individual year. So for 2011, that would be sales growth from 2006 to 2011, and then earnings growth from 2011 to 2016, and so on for every year. What we end up with is a massive data set showing how much each stock grew their sales for the previous five years, and then went on to grow their earnings over the following five years. Now, let me show you a really simple and powerful result first, and then I'll break all this down to show you why it's useful for you as a home investor. If we split those companies down into ones that achieved a total five-year sales growth for those previous five years of more than 50% and ones that achieved less than 50% sales growth, we see that the ones in the higher sales band went on to achieve 42% earnings growth in the following five years. But the companies in the lower sales growth band, they only went on to achieve around 30% earnings growth in those following five years. It's a big difference, right, from one metric. Those of you who look at my lower and balanced risk strategies on my stock screener might have noticed that both of those have a 50% sales growth filter. By the way, it's totally free if you want to use it. I update it every week. But there's a reason I use that benchmark in both those strategies, because past sales growth is actually a very good indicator of future earnings growth. Let me break the data down even further to show you just how strong this relationship is and how it can help us pick really good investments. Don't forget, this is a really big data set going back to the early 2000s. It encompasses the aftermath of the dot-com bubble, the financial crisis, and COVID. If you're seeing trends in that kind of time span, I think it's fair to say that those trends are probably meaningful. So instead of just setting a hard 50% sales growth limit, I group the stocks by anything below 0%, so negative sales growth, basically, then into 10% bands right up to anything above 100% growth. Check out the median and earnings growth for the following five years in those bandings. That is a pretty linear result, isn't it? The five lowest sales growth bandings went on to experience the five lowest levels of earnings growth. There's thousands of stocks in this analysis using over two decades worth of data. This is not a coincidence. This is showing us a trend. And then as we go to stocks with 40-50% sales growth and above, their following earnings growth increases massively. With stocks that achieved over 100% sales growth for the previous five years, going on to achieve a median of 47% earnings growth for the following five years, way above the performance of these lower sales bands, which were all around the mid 20s to 30%, which is very good news, I think, because you don't need to predict every stock in order to win. You just need to pick a few winners correctly. So the more things you can find to tilt the odds in your favor, the better. A very common phrase is that past performance isn't an indicator for future performance, but for certain things, it very often is. Now, the very big caveat to that is that past sales growth does not guarantee anything for an individual stock. Sales can tail off or a competitor can come along and blow their product out of the water. But on average, history tells us that filtering down your potential investments to ones that have achieved high sales growth in the past does increase the likelihood of picking a company with a better chance of growing its earnings into the future. Now, there are lots of reasons for this, but here's one of the big ones. Imagine a business that only grows its earnings 
and never grows its sales. They might grow their earnings every year for 10 years, but eventually that earnings growth has to stop. Once the profit margin has been maximized, they simply can't grow earnings anymore. But if a company doubles its sales, then it can retain the same profit margin, but the earnings they'll still double by default. It's why past sales growth is such a good indicator of future earnings growth. Check out this piece of analysis. It's similar to the one we started on. All our stocks split by ones with a five-year sales growth above and below 50% for the previous five years. Except this time I calculated the following five-year sales growth. Basically, to answer the question, does past sales growth indicate future sales growth? Check out those figures. 42% versus 21%, a truly huge difference. And here's that data banded, just like we did earlier. There's a super linear relationship between the past and following sales growth. And so we can say that on average, past sales growth strongly indicates future sales growth and sales growth grows the earnings, which in turn grows the share price. So that's why I like to filter down to only those stocks with a past five-year sales growth of 50% or more. If you want to see some of those stocks, check out the link to my free stock screener and have a look at the lower and balanced risk strategies. And if you want to know the single best metric you can use for valuing these types of high growth stocks, then watch this video here. Because I think 90% of home investors don't even know about this valuation metric, let alone how to use it properly. But it is fantastic evaluating stocks.